it's Nikki. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this tour right outside the door. I'm going to flip y'all around and then we'll get started. Okay. So this is what we're down to. We have a banana, a cat toy, <laughs> still have the heater. Um, okay, so I have a folding chair here with my almost done top here and then a project and work right here. So I kept the iron and the ironing, uh, the little ironing board, and I have some more pressing tools, and then this box I will use um, when I transport it in the car. What is in here? It's like a stain. Um, so this I will fill with crap and put in my car when it's time to move. I kept a ham, I kept a sausage, and I kept a sleeve board. And then uh, the clapper. Um, that's just some interfacing from some other project that's already cut out. Okay, so then I kept a sewing box behind right here. And it's this is from, I think, the 80s. Um, it was my mom's. So I kept my um, needle index. Uh, that way, I'll know. I don't remember if I showed you this, but it'll give you, you know, this is really handy. Um, and then I have my manuals, um, some tracing uh, or transfer paper here, and this is another manual. Oh, and I have a sewing magazine in there. Um, I have this bin, scissors for cutting slinky stuff. I can't remember if I, I don't know why I kept that. A couple of cones of thread, a bag, well, there we have that. So some thread, uh, my dad's measurements, that was scrap. Um, yeah, bobbins, uh, pinking shoes. Yeah, basically, so that's, let's look in this box. I'm a little scattered, sorry. I have all of my needles, some basting thread, wax, my buttonhole cutter, um, measuring tape, some hand sewing needles. It's mostly needles. All my feet are in here, down here. It's kind of a, it's kind of a hot mess up in this box, but this is all the little fiddly stuff that I normally kept in the drawer for each check, pencil sharpener, interface bias tape measure. There's some buttons. Yeah, just little odds and ends I've been keeping in here stuff I might need. Um, so that lives in here. So that's what's in here right now. I do have some of the things I was keeping in here out. So let's put that back here. I kept um, the table my grandpa made because it folds up and slides into my car and fits perfectly. So here I have my wonder clips. Um, that's pieces to my project. Um, my planner. Both my machines are still here. Um, these are, this is what I'm working on right now. And then um, scissors, my, my uh, duckbill scissors. I have pins and a magnetic holder. And um, colored pencils for tracing. That's for the serger. That make, that's the piece that you need to make it a cover stitch. Um, big shears. And then these are all my marking tools and measuring tools. There's an awl in there, some tweezers, um, brushes for the machine seam ripper. Anything that's long and skinny goes in this box. And then the screwdriver and hemostat, stuff like that. Little stuff, it'll fit in there. And then I have, um, was I showing you this thing the whole time? Don't look at that. Um, and then these I will show you later. These are some patterns I've been buying, so I've been setting them aside to show you. So that's what I have sitting out right now. And then what I have in the closet plants, beautiful plants. Um, so up here on the shelves, these are the fabrics that I kept back. Um, not too many. Uh, and then I anything I don't use before I leave, I'll, I if it won't fit in the car, I'll mail it. And then this in here are all um, like muslin making fabrics. These are the scraps from um, what I've been working on. 
Then down here I have these two I have traced and adjusted and they are ready to have muslins made. So I have some fabric out for that. And then one of them I think I'm just going to cut into. So I'm going to use this swallow print fabric for that. Um, right here I have my uh, sewing machine carrying case and then um, the box for the serger. Um, so those machines will go inside of there. And then I have rulers, tracing paper. This is meant to go to work with me so I can uh, trace it and adjust it. And these are the patterns that I, from what I already had kept behind. So I thought these would get me through this time. Here are some, these are all the Tilly and the Buttons patterns. And then I don't know what the hell that is. Um, yeah, these are for my dad's shirt. This is a pair of ginger jeans I have cut out, which I'm not sure if I want to get all up into that, but we'll see. And then, oh, this is like filming my, my mini vac. And then, yeah, that's that has nothing to do with sewing. That's just some, well, there's a couple sewing magazines in there. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's all. Yeah, so that is basically what I decided to keep behind. So far, I haven't, where am I going to put this? This is not good without a tripod where will i put you i guess my fingers in the way this is hard i had planned on filming with my regular camera and tripod but it didn't work out with the i think i told you about the editing software was not great so um yeah i'm kind of at a loss here as to what to do with y'all hang on let's see if i can rig something up okay that's better now you'll at least be stable um yeah, so that's what I kept back. Um, it seems, I think, so this was the toughest week where I had, you know, tons of stuff going on. Um, people come into the house to like fix things up. You know, I get the carpet cleaners in. I get, um, been patching some that drywall. Still not finished with that. It's man, it's, you have to keep sanding it. And keep ugh, whatever, painting things like that. So I should have a lot more time to sew here soon. So I actually think I can get through quite a bit of what I kept back. But I always think that I can do so much more than I actually can. You know, I guess it's better to be overconfident than underconfident. And yeah. So anyways, that's what I have kept back. What do you think? Is that what you would have kept back? I know I wasn't super in depth about what I've got, but it seems to be enough to get by um, so far. So was it too much? I don't know. If it fits in the car, is it possible for it to be too much? Um, yeah. So anyways, I would just, I thought I would shoot you out a quick video here so you guys don't start having withdrawal symptoms, you know, being without me and all that. So uh, what else? What's coming up next? Uh, the next video, I will be showing you the that big stack of patterns that I bought. So I'm not really buying fabric because I got plenty of that. And plus, that's going to be hard to hard to transport, hard to fit any more than I already have in there. Luckily, I kept very few clothes with me, so some of that fabric will be fine. Throw it all in a trash bag, throw it in the car, it'll be, it'll be good to go. Um, yeah, so I will show you those patterns the next time we talk, and I will show you um, what I've been working on, which almost finished. I managed to get one, so this one's almost done. But I have to do hem it and uh, hem the sleeves and hem the bottom. But I'm waiting to finish the other one. That way I can hem everything all at one time. Because although it's easy to convert the machine to a cover stitch, um, I'd still rather only have to do it once than have to keep switching back and forth. Because it does take time. So <clears throat> takes five minutes. But that's honestly, that's too much for me. So yeah, so those are coming up. Patterns are coming up. And then this dude, oh, I never do this. I never agree to do things, but I did. And now I'm mad that I did, but he's got this, he gave me this book and he wants me to make a book cover for him right here. So whatever. I mean, I'll do it. It can't be that hard, right? Um, I'm sure there's some, it's a weird size book. There's got to be some sort of tutorial for how to cover a book. But he showed me the one he's got. and It's got like a zipper and Velcro and pen holders and all sorts of stuff on it. And 
I don't know. Like, I was like, what do you even want me to make it out of? And he said, I don't care. And I was like, oh, so glitter and rainbows is good? And he was like, yeah. So I'm really tempted to throw glitter and rainbows on it, but I don't know. What do you think? Um, yeah, that's all I got right now. Um, yeah. I'm real boring right now. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Did my best. Okay. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, and this is some butterick. I think I might have kept the pattern because I want to make another one. Uh, but this is my butterick top that I love. This is the coziest, warmest thing ever. Um, yeah. Man, I really want to show you guys those patterns. Mm, maybe I'll just film that right now. That'll, that way it'll get out of my system. Um, but I won't show you yet. Okay. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right. Bye.